Yes. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Initially, because everything was kind of going there, um, and then, so essentially, I had my search and rescue team on on the south side of the uh, parking lot, and then my medical staff was on the north side, and all my ambulances were staging here, and I basically stood in the middle in between all of them that way. Well, we'll certainly get in touch with our partner at SDA to and let them know what the business is doing. Yeah. Um, even one of the other changes in our program too, you know, people that want to come home and lost some of their equipment that they used for They were rolling when I, right after I called them. So I think we'll still bring it up. Okay. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't even begin to know how to start like, cleaning. Like, this is just kind of that. Start from the top and work your way down. I don't know. What do you think's in that black case? Records, maybe? Yeah, the defense tapes. Look at the clay pigeons. Oh, yeah. The microwave. Federal Emergency Mitigation System? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, Federal Emergency Yep. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
13 yeah, coming uh, over, or is it just uh, It's just going to be, it'll be uh, just a quick one-on-one -on -one for two minutes, please. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. And you can do it together. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Better uh, together. Okay. Yeah. This is uh, KCCI Local Des Moines. So okay. Um, Talking to you. Yes. So, Deanne, out here surveying the damage, kind of talk about what you see, uh, how, how did it impact you personally? Yeah, so we uh, initially did a flyover so we could kind of get the scope and magnitude of what the impact was. But, you know, once you get on the ground, it, it's really overwhelming when you just see every home around you completely destroyed or sometimes completely gone and talking to the few people that we talked to and hearing their stories of survival. And, you know, just by the grace of God, they were able to survive the storm passing over their home. Um, but. I think talking to the governor from her, her trip here yesterday, it's amazing how this community has already come together to start to clean up. Yeah, I could not believe the amount of debris that had already been removed and just how there, it's just a, such coordinated effort by so many volunteers and just communities coming together to make it happen. I just kept saying, oh my gosh, you couldn't even see the homes yesterday. So still pretty devastating and just really, really appreciate the administrator being on the ground and seeing firsthand uh, what's taking place in Iowa. I think they said that today in the briefing that the tornado was moving a mile a minute. A mile a minute. So, I mean, that's just incredible to think about the devastation that was done uh, in a minute through this community. Um, is there anything right now? I know a lot of people want to help, and I know that maybe too many at sometimes. It, how can people help rather than maybe actually coming to Greenfield to help? Them clean up well, I know there's foundations that they can, you know, send resources to. Um, just we, we appreciate the volunteers. It's necessary, especially for the removal. We've seen high school students step up and really walk the farmland to pick up the debris. Um, but if you go through the um, in incident command and through the emergency manager, Cooper, he can help really coordinate a lot of that. So we still do need the volunteers, but uh, it, we, we have to really manage it as well too but there's a lot of different ways that people can help and we'll try to keep that uh, available and on the website so people know where to go and how they can be helpful thanks yep. thank, you. Thank, you. thank you thank you just do uh, two more quick ones who which is